Bitcoin's price is going down. So the, the consumers of Bitcoin's network are signaling fear, and it may even push down to 100,000. But at the same time, the, the mining network, the producers of Bitcoin, are signaling confidence with the total computing resources of the entire Bitcoin network, the network hash rate, pushing all-time highs. Now, they seem like very uh, paradoxical directions to go, which essentially means in the mining exchange rate, that the value of Bitcoin in electricity terms is going up, but the price premium in dollar terms is going down. Does that signal an extremely valuable moment to be buying? The, the treasury stock analogy would be that the, uh, the Bitcoin per share is increasing whilst the price per share is coming down. That is NAV compression that is a signal to buy. But when you take this down to the energy layer with Bitcoin, which is the price of Bitcoin in dollars and the price to produce Bitcoin with electricity, well, that's where things get really interesting. That the producers of Bitcoin are signaling a confidence that the value of Bitcoin into the future is going to be good. Because if the network hash rate is continually growing, that is people plugging in more machines, deploying more operations, accessing more energy all around the world because they're trying to capture some of that last 1.1 million Bitcoin that's out there. And then the price signaling in the short term that the, the market may stress test 100,000, I think there'll be a lot of positions that probably liquidate at those, those sorts of levels because the price of Bitcoin in dollar terms is a battlefield, a centralized battlefield versus the, the energy side of Bitcoin is more of a decentralized battlefield of those that are most efficient with energy and have the cheapest energy are going to earn the most Bitcoin. And so I think this increase in the mining network, the producers of Bitcoin having a confidence in the future, well, that signals that maybe even nation states are adopting Bitcoin at mass scale because they have access to so much wasted cheap energy, such as natural gas. And then the, the, the confidence within the markets with the price, there is a lot of uh, ability to manipulate that from market makers and large institutions that may want to uh, force other people out of positions, capture those lower prices before the price may take off because there is no top to Bitcoin's price while there's no bottom to the dollar. The dollar is just finding its way back to zero. So all asset prices are going to find their way proverbially to infinity. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that if you've got this two, these double concepts here, and I've signaled a, a decline in the Bitcoin per kilowatt hour price, because most of the revenue that Bitcoin miners earn is subsidy. And subsidy has nothing behind it other than being a quantity of Bitcoin, and a quantity of Bitcoin in everyone's minds has a dollar price. So right now, the dollar value of Bitcoin very much drives 90% of this exchange rate. 90% being that the network hash rate is always continually increasing, which dilutes this price as well. And it boils down to this. The miners are earning from this exchange rate. Who's the buyer, who's the seller, and who's the other way around? The miners are consuming electricity to produce Bitcoin. And in the future, the, uh, <laughs> the and this, comes back actually to the central banker's point of view on Bitcoin, that it's backed by nothing uh, and it has no real world uh, value or backing. Well, here's your reality check. Buyers will be spending Bitcoin to buy energy. That is that why would a miner switch off his power if he's earning Bitcoin at a certain rate? But if the, mi if the, if the buyer pays them Bitcoin for their energy, does it matter if the computer is switched on or off? That the miner can be paid for his energy. So this exchange rate will develop to become both ways. So Bitcoin's direct pricing system transitions the majority of it being Bitcoin to dollar. But as the dollar system uh, fades into existence, the Bitcoin per kilowatt hour exchange rate in the post dollar world becomes most fundamental. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that if Bitcoin has two exchange rates, the price of Bitcoin, but also a production cost, um, well, right now, in layman's terms, 
the production cost of Bitcoin is increasing and the price of Bitcoin is decreasing. And when the price and production get close to each other, that represents one of the best times to be buying. But not financial advice. This is how you do your own research of learning this fundamental exchange rate. And one of the most recent examples of this is Elon Musk talking about the energy backing behind Bitcoin and how it's produced. In layman's terms, he's talking about this exchange rate, which is that all fiat money has no cost to produce. Most of the crypto asset world, the cost to produce and spin up these assets, tokens, coins and NFTs is zero. Maybe there was some time and energy designing some silly little graphic of some mutated animal, but I wouldn't consider that a cost. Now, when it comes to Bitcoin, it's unique because it has this cost to produce. It's not going to find its way to zero when it has an exchange rate with energy as a second layer. Now, I may be losing you a bit, so if you are interested in this sort of thing, but you feel like you haven't cracked the concept just yet, but you, you want to learn more, please go to the Hash Power Academy. Uh, you can also email me and I will be releasing a course at scale at a later date. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.